Alright guys, today we're going to make this orb. We're going to make this organically shaped orb around crumpled up paper right. so that it can be an outdoor ornament. All right. We're using our earthenware clay like we always do and we will have to scratch and wet like we always do. So what I did is I grabbed a few pounds of clay and I'm going to section that clay into 10 kind of sort of even parts. Not particularly perfectly even, just 10 parts. Somebody count for me. Kidding, I can count. Four, five, okay. So each of these is going to be squeezed out. I like to squeeze my coils out in my hands, turning them into a big bratwurst first, and then roll with the rolling pin. I don't want to roll it too thin because we don't want it to be too fragile. So I'm keeping it about the same thickness as a, a fat pinky. And I'm going to make another one. Roll it out a little bit and then use the rolling pin to extend it a little bit. All right, so let's pretend I got all of them done. Jeannie, can you watch this really good here? Yeah. We're going to texture them. When we texture them, we don't want to beat it up. We just want to go over it once, maybe yeah. twice. I prefer once okay. with one good roll so that you really see the imprint. Right. If you go over it back and forth, back and forth, you muddy that imprint and you kind of destroy the first imprint you gave it. Right. So I'm just keep, I keep te um, changing my textures. There we go. And one more. What? I can't see it well. Oh, you can't see it? There, now can you see it? Yes. Much better. I'm going to hold this paper ball. No, I'm not. I'm gonna put the paper ball down and I'm gonna lay a strip of clay over the top. See how it just balances by itself? You just gotta lay it. Connie and Jennifer, you're gonna wanna see this, okay? And then, we're going to have to take it. Now watch this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna to start to move. It's gonna to want to just move. You're going to have to figure out how you can lay a few strips on it without it moving so you have time to start scratching and wetting. Do you see how it's balancing itself? Yeah. Okay, it's all just there. It's, it's not a balloon, it's not popping out. In the past I would have done Correct. this project with a balloon. So I'm just laying some of them on here just to see, okay, I can do this without it tipping over. So all right. we all know how to score and slip, right? We gotta have our wire brush. We dip it in the watered down clay, wet. right? Scratch, scratch and wet. wet. We gotta scratch it wet, yes. Scratch and wet. Ian, thank you. Scratch and wet. You can do it. I can do it. Oh, thanks, Ben. <laughs> I need time. that. That encouragement, so. Scratching and wetting wherever mm -hmm. the strips overlap yeah. thoroughly. It can't be no mamby pamby scratching and wetting. It's got to be real, like gouging, gouging and gooing up the clay right. to push it together. Gouging and gooing it up. Jeannie, are you watching this? I am. I know your tools are moving no. so fast. There's no way you're watching this. Well, I have to do perfect. No, no, no. Here, do you see? Yes. We want to gouge it up yeah. really, really, yeah. really good. Okay? Gouging. And then, look at this. Look at how this is going to come around right. over to the other side. Yeah. And it's going to keep it from tipping over. This balances it. And there is no rhyme or reason of how they have to lay on here. Right. It's just about keeping it from tipping over at this point. So now I'm going to shift it. And before it can tip over, I'm going to lay another one over the top. Oh so there God. is a little bit of a finesse, okay? Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of a trick keeping it balanced. But we're such a balanced group of people. I mean, seriously. Mm -hmm. There's yeah. nothing unbalanced about any one of us here, right? Yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Wait a couple hours and then I'll find something that's bothering me. All right, here we go. I'm scratching a wedding down here. So Ian, I'll help you with this too, okay? Okay. All right, so then there's a big gap. You might not see it, but I see this big gap here. So I definitely want to 
scratch and wet to hide this big gap. And scratch and wet down here. And then again, now it's getting a little repetitive, right? We're just gonna keep filling in until we get most of it filled up, right? And then I'm gonna make another one and put it over here. Yeah. And then we're going to balance it in our bowl, okay? Because our little, um, the plastic pillow we made for our little paper bowl is going to support it while we add the finishing touches. So this one, right. you can see I already started adding the finishing touches. So I'm gonna add a few more just to finish it off. I'm gonna make a coil and I'm going to curl and swirl that coil up. You see that? And scratch and wet it wherever there's a big space. That's going to reinforce it and keep it together, help make it stronger. It's going to add to the charm of it. So right now I'm just kind of giving it a spin to see if I need to add any. What do you think, Ben? Do I need to add another one anywhere? No. No? Is it good? Yeah. Does it look like it'll be secure? Yeah. And the cool thing about this design is that yeah. you can put a leather strap or a metal hook anywhere right. through here to make it hang in the yard. 